Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Hello. Welcome. Hello, good evening. Hello and good evening. Welcome to Tuesday. Bienvenidos. Hello, hello. Okay. How was your day, teacher? Oh, it was a good day. Busy day, but a good day. Okay. How was your day, Anna? Normal day. It was normally because nice. I stayed in my home all day. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's always nice when, when you stay home. How you doing, Joe? Jose Rodolfo, how you doing, sir? Hello, hello. hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening, Jose. Hi, 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 hi. Gracias. Hola, bienvenida, Gaby. Maybe. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. All right, I, I started. I have for you guys. Well, let me go ahead and start sharing that. Welcome. We are on week three, and it's day number two. And I'm really excited about that because we have one more week to go. Today is the first day of December. Diciembre, ¿cómo decimos? Diciembre, sorpréndeme. No. <laughs> no. All right. No, thanks. No. <laughs> I think we had enough. I think we had enough. All right. So, here we go. This is what we're going to do today. This is going to be our quick agenda. It's actually pretty, pretty easy. And my plans for today were... Como ya estamos en la sección cuatro, en teoría, maybe do a few of these exercises together, just in case. And then, as you guys can see, section four starts to focus on the tenses again. Past tense, past continuous, simple past. And so it continues with that. Uh, past perfect. Uh, and el, en el que dice passive overview, it's actually past perfect, I think, habla el video. So what I wanted to do is I uh, wanted to go, you know, one section at a time and then kind of do a section all together. So today is one of those days. And I think we can do that for section five also. Uh, maybe do uh, one day where we work the whole section. And then on section five, maybe we can do that and also work on the final exam. Entonces, el plan sería tratar de incorporar eh, toda la sección en la clase y luego en la sección 5 hacer el examen final y trabajar ese en grupo. Eh, yo creo que eh, hicimos el midterm eh, casi como en grupo y creo que nos salió muy bien. Me gustó mucho la actividad. So I really like the activity. And so I wanted to kind of keep pace with that. So today... I wanted to do a little bit of past perfect tense and cover some of that real quick. And then once we get that going, we can transition over to practice on the platform. Or, well, you know what? I think we can go right into the platform itself. If you guys have access to a computer or if you guys have access on your phone, to the platform, I think that that is a very good option for us to, to work it today as a group. And let, so let's do that first. Now, 
if you don't have access because you know you're on your phone or because on your computer you can't do uh, you know the double screen or or o quizás eh, quieres poner el video pero no que no 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 puedes ver y, y tener el video a la misma vez eh, quizás solo pueden dejar el audio and once you leave once you leave just the audio uh, you might be able to look at the screen and maybe we can work the sections over okay so as a quick review the last item on section three were the indirect requests okay and then we went into the knowledge check then we talked about the midterm and then we started section four and so that's what we're going to do so just follow me if you can if not solo síganme con sus vistas vamos a iniciar entrando a la lección 4.0 y si ustedes pueden ver, ya estuve haciendo un, varias de estas, aunque la sección 3 me quedó pendiente unos cuantos, pero ahí está. Eh, se tarda un poco, pero sí carga. And la primera sección, súper fácil, el Lesson Objective, te dice, In this class, you will learn how to tell stories. And then we have the campfire. And I want us to do the campfire, so I'm going to go and put play. Let me know if you guys can hear or not. I'm going to mute everybody, and then that way you guys are able to listen. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way. And let me put the video on for you guys. And this is the same thing that you guys are going to be doing on the platform. So here we go. Oh, give me one second. Let me back it up a little bit. Can you guys hear okay? No. Nope. You guys couldn't hear the video at all? No video? Was there? No. Was there no. anybody? Nobody can hear the video? Oh my goodness, okay. okay. The video, yes, the audio, no. The video, yes, the audio, no, okay. Hmm, let me see how we can do that. I don't think there's a, a way to do it. If you guys can hear the video, okay, you know what? Okay, so the video, what it does, it talks about sitting around in a campfire out in, I wanna say, out in the jungle. And so when people go camping, what they do is they usually have like a big fire, a big campfire, and people sit around the campfire. Okay. And what they do is they sit there and they tell scary stories. It could be scary stories, it could be normal funny stories, uh, it could be maybe hero stories. The point is that you get to hear other people talk. Okay. Let me go ahead and move forward on this one because once the story is over, then you come into the past continuous versus the simple past. This lesson we already covered and what they talk about here is past progressive, which is past continuous, and simple past. And once you look at the video, which is not that long, it's, this one's about six minutes long. And maybe we can see the video right quick. Uh, let me see, let me put this one on here. Ok, este es el video que sale y esta es la línea, esta es la línea que nosotros ocupamos. Eh, 
so that we can define what words to use or what tense to use. And so it tells you, here is the now. If you want to talk a little bit moving forward, depending on how much forward you use, you're going to use a different tense to be able to um, use the correct word. So you have the now, and then you have everything that moves forward would be a future tense. And remember that there's 12 tenses all together, so you get a couple that fit into the future. You also get the ones that are in the past. So you can go all the way to talk about the past, you can also talk about people who are moving in the past and they are moving into the now or they are moving into the now past into the future. So you could, there's like many ways that you guys can use these tenses to be able to identify a specific point in time. And what you have to keep in mind is that you have these three points. You have the now, you have the past and you have the future. And so what you want to do whenever you use a tense is you want to be able to identify what point, if we're talking about the past, what point in the past do you want to use as a reference? You could also use specific time in the past, which will also help out. And so this exercise that, we, that, that they were talking about was using the past continuous, which means that you are in the past, but you were doing something. So there was an activity that was going on that was interrupted. And this is uh, the lesson that we were able to see yesterday. So let me put that on here. Ok, so en esta porción, literally what we're explaining is there is an action that occurred in the past and that action was moving towards the present, but it was interrupted, right? So something happened right in the middle of that. And so... The story is that while he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. So when did this happen? It happened in the past and there was something happening, but then it came to a stop and the robber was caught in the door. And if you guys can see the points of reference are going to always be the same the present or the now, the future, and the past. And so what point do you want to use as a reference? Okay. All right. Keep going with the video. Okay, la explicación continúa, and you could use these in different sentences to explain what was going on. Um, one of the explanations is there is a guy named Jake, and he was running. So the minute that you say was running, you are already talking about the past. And so he was running to a point when all of a sudden he tripped. And then, so he tells you, it, the sentence tells you, as Jake was running toward the ball, he tripped 
and he kicked it into the wrong goal. So it all happened in the past. However, he was moving in the past to a certain point, but he never got there. And so that's another point that uh, you could explain. Okay, so this is something that we've covered with the past continuous or past progressive versus simple past. These are the examples for past continuous. These are the example for simple past. And then from here, you go into the knowledge check, which is the 4.4 knowledge check. And here, the activity is that you complete the new story using the past continuous and the simple past. So what they want you to do is that you use the verbs that they give you. And so it starts off with number one that says, while divers, and then it goes blank, but they also give you here the word work. And so what you need to do is you need to convert it into the simple past. And in this particular case, we're working. And the sentence sounds like this. While divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million. I know that the word dollars is not there, but since the sign is here, you might want to throw it in. While divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million. Okay, And so here, the verb that is given is work and the simple past or the past continuous that we did or that we converted was the were working while divers were working off the coast of florida the next one is they they the verb provided is discover a shipwreck containing gold worth two million dollars and then so here we use discovered. They discovered a shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million. The third one, the divers. The divers were filming because the word that we got was film, a show about the coral reef when they found gold. And so we have were working, discovered, and were filming for the first portion of that one. It breaks off into the second portion, which is the four-legged customers. As a woman, and you have the verb walk, her pet poodle down the street. So as a woman was walking her pet poodle down the street, a hairstylist, verb notice, we complete it with notice them through the window and suddenly had a great idea. So let's read that through. As a woman was walking her pet poodle down the street, a hairstylist noticed them through the window and suddenly had a great idea. Later, while he was creating a new line of hair products for dogs and cats, he came up with a new slogan. Even animals have bad hair days. And that's how it's complete. So in this particular case, we use was walking, noticed, was creating, came up with. And these are all examples of past continuous and past simple sentences being used. Okay. How many of you guys managed to finish this one prior to today? So before today, had you guys completed this activity? How many of you guys completed it? Was Me, it? I finished that okay. before that. Okay, great, great to hear that. Well done, well Thank done. You. Okay, now 
it gives you a little bit of problems at the very beginning because sometimes we put a dot or a comma or something like that. But eventually, I think we, we kind of work it out. Y ya podemos poner la palabra correcta o las palabras correctas y ya nos deja pasar. Okay, so this is Knowledge Check 4.4. And then we move along. We go to Lesson 4.5. And in this class, you will learn how to develop skills in listening for details, develop note-taking skills, and listen to new skills. So with this one, we have a little bit of, uh, I think we're going to have a little bit of issues because it is a video. And let me go ahead and check the video on here. Let's see if, let's see if you guys can hear it, okay? Let me put the volume up too, by the way. How's that? Were you guys able to hear or is it completed muted? Did you guys hear anything at all? Anything to share? No. No. Nothing. No. Oh my no, goodness. Okay. No nothing. Problem. So let me see here. I don't know if maybe I can, let me see if I can. Let me see. I'm going to try to click share and see if maybe. Oh no, that sends me directly into. What is this? YouTube? Were you guys able to hear anything from the YouTube page? Negative, no. No. no, oh, okay, okay, okay. So this exercise, let me go ahead and close this one. And I might get in trouble for that because they told me not to put YouTube, but this is a YouTube video, okay. Um, sorry about that, uh, let me see here. What can we do? Well, you would have to listen to it. So, so the idea of this, particular lesson is for you to listen to the world news and then once you guys listen to the world news you can come back to the bottom section and here you can answer some questions and it starts off by number one where did the first story happen and then you get to answer what happened on the first story and then you click it now these answers are not multiple choice you have to select one so now i didn't have time to listen to the story right so i'm going to take a wild guess here i think it happened in thailand what happened on the first story two police officers were rescued i like that story where did the second story happen i'm thinking maybe hollywood what happened on the second story? Mm. Well, I like the story about the death by a snake. Let's see, let me put that one on here. Where did the third story happen? I already used the first two, so I'm gonna go with Australia. And what happened on the third story? I used that one. So I'm gonna go here. All right, completely wrong. Oh no, I got one. I got one. Well, you know, hey, that's pretty good. I would like to think that I feel really proud of this one. Without knowing, I was able to get one. You guys see that? We can get lucky sometimes. Okay, so, well, now you guys know not to use, you know, this one on number two, not to use this one on number three, not to use this one on number four, five and six. And so the only good one was in Thailand for number one. All right, so once you guys complete the activity, you guys can move ahead and oh my god i don't want to leave it like that yeah you know what i'll come back and fix it it moves you over to lesson 4.7 and here you use the past perfect tense past perfect and you have the activity and the video and it tells you about the past event and then how to turn it into a past perfect event 
by using one word. So I'm going to play it for a little while. Well, actually a little bit. And then I want to explain to you guys what the video is about. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so with this one, it focuses on using past perfect and when to use it. So the idea still remains that you're talking about an event in the past. Because it's to, it, todo esto que está ocurriendo pasó en el pasado. Pasó en el pasado. <laughs> okay, it happened in the past. And so you were doing something in the past and then something else happened in the past. And so how do you express that? How do you say that, you know? Entonces, comienza con, I was working out. Estaba levantando pesas. Estaba haciendo mis ejercicios. And I had put my stuff in my locker. When I came back, Someone had stolen my wallet. Entonces, esta sentence es un poco más larga, pero si ustedes se fijan, we have uh, two sequences. La primera es, I was working out. Yo estaba haciendo mis ejercicios. Me fui a poner mis cosas en el locker. Regresé a donde yo estaba anteriormente. Y alguien se había robado mi cartera, my wallet. So it goes back and forth. We're talking about a past event. And then we're talking about a past perfect event. We go back to the past event. And then we finish it with a past perfect event. Y si ustedes pueden observar, hay una palabra que se ocupa para convertir esto en past perfect y que le funcione. A ver, ¿qué palabra ven ustedes aquí? ¿Qué es la que se usa con un past perfect event? Had. Had, exactamente, had. Acuérdense que en inglés la H sí se pronuncia. So you have to say, so if you, you know how, cuando estás, when you're typing ha, ha, ha en inglés, Bueno, la gente sabe que te está riendo en inglés porque estás escribiendo ja, 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 ¿verdad? Con la H. En español, it changes with a J. And everybody writes it with a J. Ja, 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 with a J. Porque estamos hablando en español. All right. So, with this in mind, the exercises continue. Going from past to an event that happened also in the past. Y la explicación de cómo se ve y qué palabras puedes ocupar. So then you move to the next one. And here you are going to look at the past perfect positive and negative statements. Okay, and so this one becomes very, I want to say that it becomes a little bit easier. Porque ya conoces el past perfect y lo único que estás haciendo es lo estás haciendo positivo o lo vas a convertir en negativo. So either positive or negative and then so you're gonna have the video same thing once you finish the video you continue and then we have the questions how do you ask the question and it goes back to past perfect and then asking a question in past perfect um, it, it will explain to you guys that the type of format to use and how to ask the question. Once you have reviewed the video, you move forward, and then you come to the knowledge check. And then here, you can fill it up. Um, now, let me see here. Fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verbs given. You have to use simple past, 
or past continuous. And because now you guys have seen past perfect, that one is also included. So you can use any of the three. So it's only one of each of these. And then it will start a thief, blank. And then you see the word there that they give you, which is break into our house last night while my sister and I were picking up a piece of dinner. Okay. So with this one, if you guys have any problems, please let us know in the WhatsApp group or you can send me a message. Now, um, I do apologize if, I, if you guys have sent me a message and I, and I take a little while to answer. Sometimes I'm driving around. Uh, sometimes uh, I have to be in my other job. Um, you know, it, it's not easy, you know, having a, a, a Hummer car, ¿verdad? No, no, no es fácil la Hummer porque pues es mucha gasolina, entonces tengo que trabajar bastante para mantenerla. Así es que eh, el trabajo o manejando, entonces uh, hay casos en los cuales me tardo un poquito en, en, en contestar, pero trato y hago lo posible de siempre contestar. Si lo ponen en el grupo de WhatsApp, usually another classmate will, will, will answer in the WhatsApp and give you the correct answer. So, so please, right, either use uh, the WhatsApp or you can message me directly. Okay, so once you complete the knowledge check, you move to the next portion. And I think 411 was the last one here. And that's it. And we have completed and we go into lesson 5.0, okay? Let's go back into the section. Okay. And that's how, that's how, it, well, no, that's section, section five. Let me go ahead and open up section five. And that's it. So as you guys can see, some of the videos do not have the check mark, but that's because you have to watch the video completely. And you have the lesson objectives, you have the videos, and then you have the knowledge checks. And then as soon as you complete the knowledge checks, you also get the little green mark. Okay, do you guys have any questions about the navigation in section four and the lessons? Is everybody feeling pretty good about this one? Se sienten bien? No lo siento contento yo, como que si este, como que si este, este, mar, este martes le dio. Okay. Yes, teacher, I didn't have unit number four. Okay. Repuesto, para sacar repuesto. Ya listo todo, excelente. Ok, ok. A ver, entonces, um, acuérdense que todo lo que ustedes ven acá, Nosotros lo repasamos en clase. So, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over passive overview. This one that says passive overview, this is the one that we're going to look at. So, let me go back here. And let me give you guys a, a refresher. Por favor, recuerden, son 12 los tense que se pueden ocupar. Eh, present simple eh, es el que más se ocupa. ¿verdad? Es el más básico. Luego tenemos present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous, past simple, past continuous, y ahora llegamos a past perfect. Si ustedes se recuerdan, estuvimos viendo past simple y past continuous, y estos se pueden ocupar en una misma sentence, y estuvimos viendo some exercises using past simple and past continuous. Eh, claro que aparecía como past progressive y se puede ocupar cualquiera de los dos. Puedes ocupar past progressive o past continuous. Eh, es, la misma, es lo mismo. Entonces, past continuous and past simple. Y ahora vamos a hablar acerca de past perfect. Y esto significa que vamos a hablar del formato positivo, el negativo. Y si ustedes se fijan, también está la pregunta. And so what are the examples for past perfect? He had left when I went to the club. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Bueno, yo fui al tianguis. Pero cuando yo llegué al tianguis, ella ya se había ido. O él ya se había ido. Entonces, ¿cómo se dice eso en inglés? En inglés, si ustedes se fijan, 
está un poquito más fácil y se puede sentir al revés si estás haciendo la, la interpretación, la traducción. He had left when I went to the club. He had already left when I went to the club. Pero si ustedes se fijan, siempre va la palabra had. ¿Ok? Past perfect, pero ahora el negative. He had not left when I went to the club. Llegué al tianguis, pero él no se había ido. Él todavía no se había ido. He had not left when I went to the club. Y la pregunta, had he left when I went to the club? Si le estás preguntando a alguien más, quizás ni te diste cuenta. Y él ya se había ido cuando yo llegué al tianguis. Y la persona te va a contestar, ah, oh, sí, ya se había ido, no te preocupes, ni te vio. Ok. And so this is where we're at. Past perfect. And so now, let's explain what this is and how it works. We have the positive, the negative, and the question. Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Interrogative. And how do you formulate, or what formula do you use? Well, you start off with the subject. You go into the use of the word had. Aquí se tiene que incorporar had, miren. Y luego vas a ocupar el past participle. For example, he had finished the test when the bell rang. Y aquí está la palabra. Miren, miren, miren. He had finished the test when the bell rang. So we're talking about the past. The bell, la campanita del, de, 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 la, de la... No, en la universidad no hay campanita, pero nunca vi una campana. <laughs> Eh, en la escuela, en general. Sonó la campana, pero él ya había terminado su examen. He had finished the test when the bell rang. The negative of that, you start off with the subject, you have the word had, but here you also have to incorporate not, and then the, pa the, the past participle. So, He had not finished the test when the bell rang. He had not finished the test when the bell rang. You have the positive, you have the negative. Y ahora llegamos a la pregunta. Had he finished the test when the bell rang? Y él ya había completado el examen cuando sonó la campana. <laughs> Had he finished the test when the bell rang? And then you leave it like that. Okay. There's also different words that you can use for time expressions. You can use already. You can use yet, for, since, just, after, before, and until. And how do you use some of this? Well, you can use it as an action that finished before another past action. And the example would be, John had gone out when his wife arrived in the office. John had gone out when his wife arrived in the office. These are some usage, and these are some of the examples. Keep in mind that we still have these words that we can use, right? So we can mix it and match it. Okay. So, past perfect. Teacher. Go, sí, sí. Oh, sorry. I have a question. Okay. When I was in high school, yes. uh, I started already and yet, but it was not very clear the difference in on these two words. When do we use already and when do we use just? Well, If you're going to say, so let me, let me, let me see, let me, let me, let's look at it, right? That, that is one of the words, correct? And then the other one, yes. we said it was just. Yes. Okay. So how do you use this? Well, 
with this one, you can say something like, I already completed the exam. Yo ya completé el examen. I already completed the exam. That is one way that you can use already. Now for just, this one changes a little bit porque what you have to do with just is you have to think of what is it that happened? I, you can say something like, it's, it's almost like saying barely. Por poquito. Por poquito. I just missed the bus. Que sería el equivalente a decir, I barely missed the bus. So, se puede ocupar de esa manera. So, I just barely missed the bus. Entonces, por poquito. Entonces, already lo ocupas para dejarle saber a alguien que tú ya hiciste algo. Hey, anda limpia tu cuarto. Go clean your room. I already cleaned my room. Sería tu respuesta. ¿Ok? Pero para ocupar just, tendrías que ocupar algo como, como, como casi fallando o por poquito no lo lograste completar o por poquito lo, comp lo completaste. I just barely missed the bus. Pero también se puede hacer el, el positivo que es I just barely made it to the bus and I was able to get in or I was able to catch the bus. Entonces, already es para algo que tú ya completaste o que ya hiciste y just sería para uso de algo que por poquito fallaste o por poquito lo lograste completar. Eh, yo diría que sería una, un buen, es como que estás ocupando barely. E incluso creo que se pueden ocupar los dos. I just barely caught my bus. Y se puede decir así, my bus. Or it could be the bus. Okay. Um, did, did that help? Did that help a little bit? Yes, thank you. All right, all right. Already, no, you can't say it like that. All righty then. Okay, so we're gonna continue uh, with the tenses. And I had this one for you guys where, as you guys can see, what is it that you wanna do? So you're still using past perfect, okay? And the format for positive, the formula for negative, and then the question. And so you could say something like, it had been a long time, okay? And so here we have the word it, then we include the word had, and now we use the verb. Now this one here is a third, for, like the third form of a verb. So you guys are gonna see a V3. And so here we see been. It had been a long time. It had been a long time. And so you have to incorporate had and been to make the sentence work for past perfect tense. For negative, the only thing you have to do is include the not. So you could say, it had not been a long time. And the short or the contraction for that is hadn't. It hadn't been a long time. It had not been a long time. And of course the question which is had, and then, right? It had not, it had been a long time. And then it says, had it been a long time? Is the question. Had it been a long time? 
question mark. And then that's the past perfect level. Now, in order for you guys to see it a little bit clearer, okay, we have it in this format. The meeting had already started by the time I arrived. I don't know if you guys remember, we saw this earlier on. And so the idea behind this one is that the meeting started at eight and I got there at 8.15. Everything happened in the past, but you have to explain in the past when, when did it happen in the past, right? And you can say the time or you can use the time, the hours, or you can just leave it like this. The meeting had already started by the time I'd arrived because the meeting started at eight and I got there at 8.15. It's still the past and you can use it in this format. Now, let's use the examples with John. And as you guys can see, you guys see here, the subject, the word had, the verb, the third form of the verb, and then the object. John had played football. John and Sean had played football. I had played football. And so all of these are examples of the past, before the now. Okay? So when you guys are talking about the past, and you want to talk about something specific, like something that you did specifically at a certain time, you have to say, I had played football. And then, you know, somebody could ask you about the time and you can go back and say, yeah, I, at eight, the game was at eight and I was playing it at, at 8 p.m., okay? I had played football. Now, you can even go back in time a little bit further. So you can use it, you can use it way back as well. Okay. These are some of the examples that we have. And it, the, these all help out because they help you formulate what you want to say. And you could use past perfect tense. You can use I, you can use we, you can use you, he, she, it, they. You can use a name plus the had plus the third form of the verb. These examples work, right? They had worked, and you can use it that way. You can say they had walked, and it will still work. Now, in this one, I included the past perfect continuous tense because we had talked about these before, which is the ing format. He, she, it, the name, I, we, you, they, plus had been, the ing form, and then since or for. So as you guys can see, it's a little bit different because it is past perfect continuous. And if we go back to that one, we have past perfect. And then the next one that follows it is past perfect continuous. And that's the example that we have here. So now this one we get to see later on during the week. I think we're gonna see this one tomorrow or Thursday. Past perfect continuous. And so the examples, Sophia had been walking since Monday. Oh my God, that's a long time to walk. I had been walking since yesterday. We had been sleeping for three days or for two hours. And this, so as you guys can see, the format is a little bit different because you have to incorporate had been and you have to incorporate either since or for. Okay. All right. So let's go back to past perfect and see you guys with the rule itself. And then we're going to move into our, uh, the activity. Okay. Do you guys remember direct speech and indirect speech? Asking a question directly 
or asking a question indirectly? Well, the same thing happens with uh, past perfect because there is a direct speech format and there is an indirect. So how do you use it? Well, as you guys can see, you use it in the same way. We use past perfect. We use had plus the third form of verb. And so the way it sounds is like this. If we are using direct speech, we can say, she said I had lived in Delhi. Okay, the indirect format is she said that she had lived in Delhi. So you see how we added the she on here instead of the I. So she said that she had lived in Delhi. He said that, that he had lived in Delhi. I said that I had lived in Delhi. So the format is a little bit different, but as you guys can see, it's one word that we keep adding on here that we can use, okay? So there's the direct speech and there is the indirect speech. Direct is a little bit, you know, direct to the point, a little bit clearer. She said I had lived in Delhi, but you can't use it all the time. There's times where you guys are gonna have to change and use the indirect speech. Well, she said that she had lived in Delhi. And then the other person te va a contestar, no, es una mentirosa. She never lived in Delhi. A saber a dónde queda Delhi, pero ella dice que nunca vivió ahí. All right, so direct speech and indirect. And then some words that you guys can use for your vocabulary. Positive. We're going to focus on the positive. I had started. You had started. He had started. She had started. We had started. You had started they had started all right so with that ladies and gentlemen that covers our past perfect tense and i want to do the activity with you guys let me see where's my activity i always use my activity but it's always here okay i think you guys are gonna like this one you guys always you guys always like them okay so we're using past perfect tense. And I want you guys to look at the sentence. And I'm, we're only going to do the first five. So let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. OK, here we go, the first five. And we're going to do the first one together so you guys can see how it's done. It says, complete the sentence using the past perfect tense. All right. And then we are given the words already and reach. And the sentence says, the fire blank the roof by the time the firemen arrive. Okay, do you guys remember what word we needed to use? Had. Had. It had the fire had and we're going to incorporate the word already and reach we can't use reach what would we have to change that to what do we have to convert that to we can use reach because remember that we're talking about the past. E? E, D. All right. So let's see, how does that, how does that read? The fire had already reached the roof by the time the firemen arrived. Well, that sounds pretty good, guys. All right, so now you guys get to complete the next one. And you guys take the words and do the same thing. All right, I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes for that. Two minutes, two minutes, and then you guys can volunteer, okay? Go ahead, you guys can start.
Okay, let's see. Who wants to help out for number two? Joe Smith went to prison because he blank, and then the word that they give you is steal a lot of money. What can Joe we Smith went to prison because he had stolen a lot of money. Well, that sounds, that sounds good. Joe Smith went to prison because he had stolen a lot of money, okay? I like the way that sounds. Let's leave that one on there. Number three, Helen went to bed after she blank watched her favorite TV program. She had watched. She had watched, watched. her favorite TV program, okay? Well, that sounds pretty good also. My father bought a new car after he blank tried it a few times. He had tried it a few times. He had tried it a few times. Like that? Yes. Okay. Yes. By the time Sonia got to the party, everyone blank begin dancing. Everyone had begun dancing. Begun. Dancing. I like the way that sounds. Okay. As you guys can see, there's a lot more. <laughs> we don't have time for those. Okay, let's go. Let me go with those five. And closing my eyes. Oh my god. Yeah, well done, guys. Well done. So we got we got all five done. Way to go. Okay. So you guys see how we, all we did was add the had and then we worked on the verb, on the word. And we have to talk about the word in the past. Um, I don't watch, or if I watch, you're talking about the now. But if I'm talking about the past, it's the ED. So I watched. Way to go, guys. Well done. Okay. So we're going to leave it there for tonight. And please remember section four. Please keep in mind that we have the the whatsapp for the team for the group and then you can also reach out to me in the whatsapp uh well how do you say that i don't want to say private uh you can reach out to me directly also um either way either format works and good luck with section four and i'll see you guys tomorrow i'll give you guys three minutes back oh i'm sorry two and a half minutes back uh, okay Everybody, thank you guys for coming in. Have a very good night. And I see you okay. guys. Okay. Thank good you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. See you. See you. Take care. See you later. See you tomorrow.